The big question going around right now is, should churches close down due to the coronavirus? There are people saying, well, if you close down, where is your faith in God? Don't you believe that God can protect you from this disease? And then there are people saying, hey, we need to use wisdom in this and comply with what the government says. Then they say, well, the government is trying to take away our religious freedom. Also, you must understand that the government has closed down bars, nightclubs, and other organizations that generate income into the economy. Do you think they would want to do that? No. And if your religious freedom is not being infringed upon, then it makes you look like you're trusting more in a church building or an organization than you are in Jesus. And that's where you see religion in your life instead of an actual relationship. Now, I'm not against church. I go to church. I'm faithful. What's up, parishioners? This is Chaplain Reese here, and if God done it for me, he can do it for you too. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video where I encourage you to live by faith through Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Ghost. The thing that we must do as Christians is look at the situation as a whole and say, how can I help this situation? You can either see a fire and you can take gas to it or you can take water. And I choose to take the water of life which only Jesus Christ provides. It is important going to church. The book of Hebrews says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. But understand that it's not always just talking about a church house because we are the church. Even though we close the doors to try to minimize and stop the spreading of this virus and disease, that doesn't mean that you and your family can't sit down with a, a Bible and read the scripture and exhort from it and say what it means to you and how it can be applied to your life. It doesn't mean that you and your family cannot get a hymn book and sing a hymn. I can't I can't uh, carry a tune in a bus. So what? Just sing a hymn together. Worship God in that way in your home. Because church is detrimental to all of us that we gather together and that we exhort and encourage one another. If you have a neighbor close by that is a Christian, I don't see anything wrong with getting together with them as long as you keep it a small amount of people. This may have to be done in our home for the time being. They've been having home church for hundreds and hundreds of years. Cottage prayer meetings, ever heard of that before? Last night was Wednesday night. My church did have service. I went to the service and I noticed a lot of churches that had closed the doors already. When I looked at their church, I didn't say, look at those faithless sissies. Look at those people who don't really have any faith in God. I, I just went on about my business not really thinking anything. Don't use the time of quarantine as an opportunity to lay up on the couch and numb your mind with the things of this world, but put those things away for a little while and fill yourself up with the things of God, with His Word, with songs and hymns. We have a lot of things to pray about right now. And the things that spiritually uplift you because there's so many things that are coming through these devices that is coming into our homes and our lives that are bringing us down and decreasing our faith. This isn't something that's going to last forever. It's going to be knocked out and finished. If we all work together to do our part. Just if I was the pastor of a church, I would go ahead and dismiss services. I have a cell phone right here. I could do a live stream of a service. Mostly everybody has access to that today and we can assemble ourselves together through 
this. But if I were a pastor and I said that we're not going to close down services for anybody and someone was to come to my church and it is very, very, very unlikely that this happened in Arkansas, which has had or has 37 coronavirus cases out of over 3 million people. But it could happen. If someone came to my church during this time when it was recommended that we close it down and they were to get this disease or spread this disease and I knew it was my fault because I, I could say then that it definitely was not the will of God that we had the, that service. I would feel bad about that. And not only that, it would put a mark against your church's name as the church that is rebellious and did not use wisdom in this day and hour. So there are other things that we can do to be a light in this lost and dying world. There's so much chaos. There's so much distraction. There's so much fear going around. Why don't you try to find out a way to bring peace, to bring calm, to bring a word of encouragement. And let's do our part in putting this virus to an end so we can get on with our lives. This is Chaplain Reese signing off. Don't forget to read your Bible and pray every day. Don't forget I love you and appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.